Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hi, good to see you. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to share the screen with you and then I'm going to start calling the attendance. Okay, there you can see it. Okay, welcome once again. Um, I'm calling the attendance first. Ana Cristina Camp, sorry, Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Is Alejandra Cristina with us today? Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Nope. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aida. Carlos Alfredo Ramos. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juárez. José Luis Hernández Flores. Present. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najarro Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristi de Murcia. Present. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. I have seen some people uh, joining us, so I'm going to call the ones, the names of the ones who didn't respond. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Okay, so um, let's begin. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Pre Avanzado, Modulo 2. And this is me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session, is it 11th today? Yeah, right? It's 11th, I believe. Yes, <laughs> session 11th. And today is February 1st of 2023. 2023, I'm sorry. <laughs> A little tired. Okay, um, let's begin. So what are we going to do today? Well, we have to review the structure that we started studying on Monday and we continued yesterday, which was Tuesday. So what is that? Take a look at this. The uh, causatives, active form, okay? This is the same thing that we studied yesterday. But we're going to have a review today. So let's take a look. You can get, you can use get and have to talk about asking other people to do things for you. Now, you, there are two ways of doing this. Way number one, if you want to mention the person who will do those things for you, then you use the active form of the causative. If you don't want to mention the person, then you have to use the passive form of the causative. 
And this is the active form. Wow, sorry about that. I think I went back because of the scroll bottom. Okay, when you want to show who you ask to do something for you, you can use this structure. Have, someone, then the verb in base form, and then the object, like this. My hair looked bad, so I had a hairdresser cut it again. So you have the verb have right here in past. Someone, the person who did it or who did that action for you, that's a hairdresser, that's a hairstylist, okay? Then the verb in base form, cut. That's the base form of the verb cut is cut. And then the object, it. It refers to the hair. You don't need to say my hair again because you mentioned it at the beginning of the sentence. So it will sound redundant, okay? So my hair looked bad, so I had a hairdresser cut it again. Second example, I have my brother fix my car. He's a mechanic, so every time my car breaks down, I take, my, I take it to my brother's garage. So I have my brother fix my car. Again, have, present simple, because it happens regularly. Someone, my brother, he fixes the car. The verb in base form, fix. The base form of the verb fix is fix. And then the object, my car. That's the idea. I have my brother fix my car. Mi hermano me arregla el carro. Okay, next example. I need to have someone paint my fence. My fence looks horrible. It needs painting. Okay, so I need to have, there you have the verb have, someone, you can say someone, someone is someone, it's a person. Then the, the verb in base form, paint. And finally, the object, my fence. I need to have someone paint my fence. Rosa. I have a question. Sure. Uh, uh, I will go to necessary uh, someone. Uh, you need, if you're using the uh, active causative, yes, you have to mention a person. But you can say someone if you don't have a specific person. Okay. Ajá. La cosa es que alguien la pinte. No sé quién, pero necesito que lo pinte alguien porque yo no tengo tiempo. Okay, so I need to have someone paint my fence. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. If you know the person, you mention it. But if you don't know the person, you can say someone or somebody. Okay, so um, thanks for the question, by the way. And you can also use get plus someone plus a two infinitive and then an object. It's the same structure, the same idea, except that now you're using the verb get instead of have, and the main verb is not in base form anymore. It's in two infinitive form. Okay, so the same examples. My hair looked bad, so I got a hairdresser to cut it again. Okay, the verb get, I got someone, the hairdresser, to infinitive, to cut. The to infinitive basically is the base form of the verb with to at the beginning. That's it. So I got a hairdresser to cut it. It is the object. It refers to the hair. Okay. Second example. I get my brother to fix my car. Same idea as before. There's the verb get, base form, sorry, uh, present simple form because it, it's a regular activity. Someone, that's my brother, to infinitive, to fix, and the object, my car. And I need to get someone to pay my fence. Again, you need, you use the verb get, then someone, because you don't know who that person will be, so you can only say someone, to infinitive, to paint. And finally, the object, my fence. This is the active causative. Before we continue, do you have any questions? No questions? Okay, I'll take that as a no. 
Let's continue. Rosa. Uh, the differ um, to add to infinity. Um, to infinity. The differ verbo The difference. Okay. Yeah. The base form of the verb is only that. It's just the verb unchanged okay there is no change in the verb for example the base form of the verb cut is cut the base form of the verb fix is fix the base form of the verb paint is paint the base form of the verb be is be the base form of the verb work is work etc base form es la forma del verbo sin ningún cambio and what is the two infinitive? It's almost the same, but you have to use to before the verb. The two infinitive form of the verb cut is to cut. The infinitive of the verb fix is to fix. The, infinite, the two infinitive form of the verb paint is to paint, to study, to be, to work, to play, to visit, etc. Okay. That's the difference between the base form and the two infinitive form. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No questions. Okay. All right. So that's the active causative. When you mention the person, this is when you say someone, okay, this is the person who does the thing for you. But then we have this, the passive causative, which is what we started with. When you, when who you ask is not important or you don't want to mention that person, you can use have or get plus the object plus the verb in past participle, okay? So my hair looked bad, so I had it cut again. But what about cut? Some of you will say, hey teacher, pero por qué pone cut? Si el cut es la forma base. Bueno, no, con este verbo no, porque el forma base es cut, el pasado es cut, y el past participle también es cut. Okay, like other verbs, for example, set, 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 set. The verb shot, 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 shot. Cut, 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 cut. Put, 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 etc. So this is the past participle of the verb cut. Second example, I get my car fixed, okay, at my brother's garage at my brother's shop. So you have it here, get, the object, my car, and the verb in past participle, fixed. I get my car fixed at my brother's garage. Example number three, I need to have my fence painted. So I need to have my fence painted. You have the verb have, the object, which is my fence, the verb in past participle, painted, regular verb. We are having a new house built right now. We are having, present continuous. That means it's happening in this moment. The object, a new house. The verb in past participle, built, irregular verb. It is expensive to get the AC repaired, okay? Get, get what? Get the AC, that's the object. And the verb in past participle, repaired, regular verb. Yesterday we completed an exercise, which we're not going to do again because we did it. We have uh, another exercise, but before we do it, do you have any questions about passive causatives or active causatives for that matter? No questions? Okay then. So what are we going to do? Causatives. Choose the right option. For this activity, you're going to be working in breakout rooms. I want you to communicate. And you'll be doing this in, how many people do we have tonight? There are 19 participants, almost everybody. Okay, let's see. Groups of three people. Let me see. I'm going to create, well, three to four, okay? Um, 
So what do, I, what do I want you to do? Look at this, choose the right option. We get a swimming pool put in this week. We are having a swimming pool put in this week. We have a swimming pool put in this week or we have got a swimming pool put in this week. You need to choose the right option. Yes, Rosa. We are having a swimming pool in this weekend. Okay, let's see. We are having, that's, that's the right option. Okay, very good. But uh, I want you to discuss this in the breakout rooms, but thank you, Rosa, that is correct. Okay, so yeah, you have to do exactly what Rosa did right now. You need to select the right you know, choice to complete the sentences. So um, you're going into the breakout rooms so that you can discuss it with your partners, with your uh, classmates, I'm sorry. And uh, here we go. The rooms are like this, room one, Yasmin Vanessa, Luis Fernando, Paola Maria, and Rosa Esmeralda. Room two, Carlos Alfredo, Ever de Jesus, Jose Luis, and Manuel Aristides. Room three, Lilian Estela, Olivia Osorio, Sandra Cecilia, and Jenny Sanchez. Room four, Alejandra Magaña, Astrid Michelle, Gladys Imelda, and Walter René. Room five, Claudia Yanet, Gabriela Stephanie, and Josue Isaias. I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. As usual, I'm going to share this exercise via WhatsApp because I cannot visit the breakout rooms and share at the same time. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms and remember, please, and I'm going to say it in Spanish. Hablen con sus compañeros, por favor, porque esa es la idea del breakout room. No es que estar ahí callado viendo cómo lo resuelve el otro, no, ¿verdad? La cosa es hablar. Esa es la idea, ¿ok? Les digo porque a veces entro y solo uno o dos están hablando y los demás están en modo espectador, ¿verdad? Que no sea ese el caso, ¿verdad? Platiquemos todos. Ok, let's do this. Please, everybody, join your breakout room. Okay, everybody, please <laughs> um, join your breakout rooms. for person. Teacher, only two participants. I don't know. The others <laughs> don't want don't want to join the group. <laughs> okay. You'll be working in pairs, apparently. There's one that is not assigned. Let's see. Um Okay, so what do you have? Hello? Yes, the okay. number one was completed mm -hmm. in the main room. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, why don't you get a doctor? 
I think, to look at your arm. Why don't you get a doctor to look at your arm? That's right, because you're using the active causative using get, so you need to use the two infinitive. That is yes. correct. Okay, it good. Does. Great. How about number three? The next one, um, my teeth were a little yellow. So I, Had them so I, I have them cleaned mm -hmm. by the density. By letter B. Letter B. Yes. Well, let's take a look at the context of the of the sentence. My teeth. I where? think so. Letter D. Letter okay. D. In the past. Mm hmm. So it's in past. So I have them cleaned. It's in past because my teeth were a little yellow. So I have yeah. them cleaned by the dentist. It's letter D, actually. Yes, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. OK, please continue. I'm going to jump into a different breakout room now. OK, okay thank, thank you. you. Teacher. Que silencio sepulcral en este grupo. It was so difficult. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. I know, I know it's I, I know it's difficult. That's why you are working in groups so you can help each other, right? If you help each other, it is less difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. La unión hace la fuerza. Entre más trabajan juntos, más fácil. Okay, so um, where are you exactly? Which number? Um, Hello? <laughs> it's confusing, this. It's confusing. Okay, um, where are you? Number two? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so can you help me read it, please? Number two. I'm here to help you. Why don't you get a doctor? Uh -huh. I think it's to look. Letter A. Yeah. You are right. Why don't you get a doctor to look at your arm? That is correct. It's the active causative form. Get a person, get someone to do something. So that is right. You have the right answer. Por eso ven, ya ven, tienen la idea. Solo falta que nos comuniquemos con los compañeros, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, I have to visit some other rooms now. Please work together. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, bitch. Okay. Okay. Now in the number five, my sister her here first last weekend. Uh, her here, first, they are talking about no uh, action with the hands. When you use your hands, I, I, me. Uh, you use me. But in the in this case, my sister, her, her this, did look. I think mm -hmm. my sister got her ear pierced last week. Did 
My did? sister did. Did her. Hello? Hi. 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 So, what's your final option? <laughs> Letter C. Letter C. My sister did her ear pierced last weekend. Mm -mm. Remember, the causatives use have or get. Got. Ah. My sister got mm. her ear. That is right. Jenny is, Jenny is right. My sister got her ear got. pierced last weekend. This is the okay. passive causative because you don't mention who did it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Always okay. remember that causatives need the use of the verb have or the verb get. Uh -huh. Okay. What about okay. number six? Thank you. Mom and dad like cooking. Don't feel like cooking. No tienen ganas de cocinar. Don't feel like cooking. Don't feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got a pizza to be delivered. That sounds like the future. Mom and dad don't feel like cooking. Mm -hmm. So we got a pizza. Be delivered. I'm sorry, which one is it? A, B, C, or D? I, maybe A. Mom and dad don't feel like cooking, so we got a pizza. Tienen ganas de cocinar, así que. Letter D, deliver. Well, not exactly because uh, you are not mentioning the person who delivered the pizza. So you cannot use the base form. It's the passive causative. Mm -hmm. And the passive causative always uses a verb in past participle. Okay. To be delivered. To be delivered. Okay. Not really. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be Not really. Got the pizza delivered. Delivered. Yeah. Deliver. Letter C. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Por eliminación. Vamos. Letter C. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, totally. But yeah, we got. That's the uh, uh, passive causative. Got. Uh -huh. Then the object. The pizza. Then the verb in past participle. Delivered. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. That's how it goes. Okay. I'm going to visit another break room. Please, ladies. Uh, please continue working on this. Okay, thank you, teacher. Welcome. Kelly wants a recording. Contratar una banda. En vivo para su boda. Cada uno puede hacer cumplir con esas manchas en el que yo llevo un sismo, un microsismo, si le queremos llamar así, que probablemente no puede ser un mes en nueve. Hubo esa mancha que usted ve a las cuatro de la madrugada del martes. Tuvimos esto, una hora bastante precisa, alrededor de las diez, nueve y tanto en la mañana del martes. Better be. Letter C. Letter C. Kelly wanted to have a live band played at her wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, are we mentioning who will do the action? Aha, uh -huh, the band. So if you mention who does the action, then is it active causative or passive causative? Active. active causative okay the active causative doesn't use past participle forms oh yes it's the it, it verb based just play letter b kelly wanted to have a live band play at her wedding okay mm -hmm. okay there you go okay please continue i'm going to go visit another break of room now
It's passive. It's passive. And yes, it's passive because you don't mention who did it. Get the object. And we. It's in a uh, passive, uh, simple pass because mm -hmm. we're on Wally on holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, or house letter B. We had our house burglar, burglar, I'm sorry, while we were on holiday. That is correct. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Yes, <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> sirve no, sirve no <laughs> claro, claro que sirve, claro. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uf, yes. madre mía. Bueno, por lo menos a mí me gusta, digamos, traer material adicional a las clases porque, pues sí, si me quedo solo con el cuadrito que aparece en el manual. No pasamos de ahí. Sí, okay. Sí. So, yeah, we had our house burgle. Okay, while we were on holiday. Do you know the meaning of burgle? No. No. Okay. Uh, this is the verb that comes from the noun burglar. A burglar is a thief. Okay. It's a thief that breaks into your house when you are not there and silently just start stealing things and then they leave and then when you get to your house and open the door oh my god what happened here okay a burglar was inside burglar is a, uh -huh. Los mañosos. okay que se meten a las casas. so we had our house burgled means se nos metieron a robar. Oh. that's a sad story that happened to me twice Horrible thing. Horrible. Oh. <laughs> First time in 2007, the second time in 2013, 10 years ago. Oof. Oof. Wow. It's just it's just horrible. Anyway, um, you have finished, so we're going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. I'll see you. Okay, everybody, we're going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> okay, now that everybody's back, we can check the answers. Number two, I need a volunteer. Olivia Osorio. Okay, so um, can you can you help me read the sentence, please? Why don't you get a doctor mm -hmm. looked at your arm? Why don't you get a doctor looked at your arm? Mm, but you say get a doctor. You are mentioning the person who will do the action. So you cannot use a past participle. You have to use a base form or a two infinitive. This will be active causative. So Olivia, second opportunity. 
Letter C. Letter C. Why don't you get a doctor? Look at your arm. Okay, better, but still a problem. We are using the verb get. And with the verb get, you don't use the base form of the verb. You have to use a to infinitive. Third, third opportunity. You're very close. Uh, Letter D. Letter D, be looking. Mm, not exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take a look. Why don't you get a doctor? Should be to look at your arm. It's to look at your arm because you're using the verb get and you are mentioning the person who will do it. So this is active caus causative. Why don't you get a doctor to look at your arm? Okay. Uh, thank you, Olivia. What about number three? Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Number three, Ever. My teeth were a little yellow, so I had to clean them by the dentist. My teeth were a little yellow, so I had cleaned have, them. Yeah. Have cleaned them by the dentist. Well, yeah. I remember, okay, uh, this is the passive causative. Okay, for the passive causative, you have to use have or get, then the object, and after that, the past participle. So if you say okay. have cleaned them, you have had past participle and then the object. So the order is not right. Second opportunity. My teeth were a little yellow, so I had them cleaned by the dentist. Okay, I had them cleaned by the dentist. That's better, okay, letter D. My teeth were, that's past, a little yellow. So I had them cleaned. I had my teeth cleaned by the dentist. Thank you, Eva. Very good. You're welcome. Okay, number four. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Carlos Alfredo. I believe uh, the letter the letter C. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking of having his head shaved. shaved? His head shaved. Shaved. He's right. Okay. Andrew is thinking of having his head shaved. Okay. Está considerando que le afeiten la cabeza. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Rosa Esmeralda, number five. My sister, Mate, her, her, your sister, last weekend. My sister, so letter A. Sí. Okay. My sister made her ear pierced last weekend. There is a problem. When you're using causatives, active or passive, you need to use the verb get or the verb have, not the verb make. Um, Second opportunity. Got. Got. You got it. That is correct. My sister got her ear pierced last weekend. Passive causative because you don't mention who did it. Okay, good. Thank you, Rosa. Number six, who wants to try? Lilian Estela, and then Gladys Imelda, you get number seven. So Lilian Estela, number six, please. Yes. Mom and dad don't feel like cooking, so we got a pizza delivered. Letter C, that's right. So we got a pizza delivered. Okay, good. Uh, passive causative right there. Very good. Thank you, Lillian. Uh, now, Gladys, do you want to participate? Yeah. Okay, Gladys, number seven. You should get a professional to check your house for earthquake damage. Correct. You should get a professional to check, active causative, your house for earthquake damage. Very good. Thank you, Gladys. Number eight, who wants to try? Number eight.
Justine, Vanessa. Kelly wanted to have a little band played at her wedding. So let her see. Yeah. Okay, Kelly wanted to have a live band played at her wedding. There is a problem right there. If you notice, they use have and then they mention who? A live band, they mention someone. That means this is the active causative and not the passive causative. If you use the active, I mean, if you are using the active causative, you cannot have a verb in past participle. And played is a verb in past participle. You need to have a verb in base form or a verb in two infinitive form. So second opportunity, Jasmine. Um, Kelly wanted to have a live band play at her wedding. Kelly wanted to have a live band play at her wedding. That is correct. This is the active causative. You're using have and then someone. So then you have to use the verb in base form, play at her wedding. Good. So number nine. Thank you, Yasmin. Number nine, who wants to try? Number nine. Nobody wants to try number nine. Come on. Rosa Esmeralda. And then we, Carlos Alfredo, number 10. Okay, so sorry, Rosa. Can we um, start in our condition? Letter eight. Letter A, can we get installed air conditioning? Yeah. Well, this is the passive causative. Remember that the order is get or have plus the object, and then the verb in past participle. So this one doesn't follow the order. Rosa, second opportunity. Uh, uh, letter C. Letter C, have installed air conditioning. Um, it's basically the same problem. You just change get for have. Maybe Carlos can help us. Um, maybe. Uh, letter D. Letter D. Have air conditioning installed. Can we have air conditioning installed? This summer, that's the right answer. You use have, then the object, which is air conditioning, and then the main verb in past participle, installed. There you go. Thank you, uh, Carlos, and thank you, Rosa, for your participation. In number 10, who wants to try number 10? Letter, letter B. Uh, who's, who's speaking? Carlos. OK, Carlos. But can yeah. you read it, please? Uh, we had our house burgled while we were on holiday. We had our house burgled while we were on holiday. Okay, yeah, this is the passive causative. But in this case, this is the other use that we studied yesterday. When something happens to you or to your belongings. Okay, this is not an arrangement. You were not looking for this. So, yeah. That is correct. Thank you, Carlos. We had our house burgled while we were on holiday. Se nos metieron a la casa a robar mientras andábamos de vacaciones. That's the meaning of that. Okay, very good, everybody. Thanks for the effort. I know that sometimes getting to the answers is not easy, but um, you know, when you give it a try, eventually you get to the, to the right answer. Okay, that is great. I don't know if we should do this exercise because uh, because of the time, I would like to focus a little bit more on the platform, maybe tomorrow. So give me a moment, okay?
All right. There it is. OK, so this is knowledge check 4.2. Imagine you want to have someone do these things for you. Write questions using the active form of have or get. You have to use active causatives. So shorten my skirt. That's number one. I want to have someone shorten my skirt or I want to have some I want to get someone I'm sorry to shorten my hair my skirt and so on now in the platform this exercise is designed differently in the platform you only have to choose the right form okay so here's what we're going to do this is not usually my style but Okay, I was running out of time <laughs> when I was preparing this. So let's take a look. Instructions. Imagine you want to have someone do these things for you. Choose uh, between the active form. Okay, no, sorry. Choose using the active form of have and get. So the first one, shorten my skirt. What is the correct form? Who wants to try? You have probably done this exercise already. So who wants to give it a try? The first one. Okay. Uh, yeah, but let, let's raise the hand. Okay. So um, Gladys, Gladys wanted to participate. Then Sandra. Um, do you all know where I can get someone to short my skirt? Someone to short my skirt. The second one. Yeah. Okay. One thing here. Short is an adjective, it is not a verb. Shorten is a verb, which means acortar. So what will be the correct form? Mm -hmm. Just remember that short is not a verb. It's an adjective. It means corto, corta. Okay. But shorten, that's a verb. So. The first one. That will be the first one. Do you know where I can get someone to shorten my skirt? That's right. That's the first one. Thank you, Gladys. Sandra Cecilia, number two, cut my hair. Uh, do you know where I can get one to cut my Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Should be the first option, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. That is correct. Very good. Because you're using the verb get. Get someone to do something. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Number three, repair my watch. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Repair my watch. Gladys, okay, thank you. The microphone. I can't hear you, Gladys. Sorry. Your your microphone is not active. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, okay. the one. The number one. The number one? You mean the first one? Yeah. Okay. Can you read it? Do you know where I can get someone to repair my watch? Yeah. Do you know where I can get someone to repair my watch? That's right. Very good. Get someone to do something where I can get someone to repair my watch. Thank you, Gladys. Okay. Number four. Fix my scooter. No me participen siempre los mismos. Me encanta que participen. Por supuesto, pero quiero ver a los demás también. Astrid Michelle. Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? 
Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Okay. Let me check. Actually, um, well, that's the answer given in the platform. But is it correct in the end? Astrid Michel said the second one. Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Okay, in the platform, that's the one you have to choose. Sin embargo, quiero ver quién es observador u observadora y me puede decir qué es lo que pasa acá. Gladys. Eh, está en infinitivo el, el verbo. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo debería estar? Eh, pasado. Ah. Eh, no. 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 Well, the, without two. Uh -huh. In its form base. The base form. Ok, yeah. Gladys and Carlos, that is right. Ok, entonces aquí tenemos un problema porque... Ninguna de las dos está correcta en realidad. Ok, pero la más cercana sería la segunda. Creo que en la plataforma la segunda la va a tomar como correcta. Entonces le estoy diciendo. En realidad la forma correcta tendría que ser. Do you know where I can have someone fix my scooter? O sea, sin tú, como dijo Gladys. Ok, y como dijo Carlos también. Tendríamos que ocupar el base form. Así que ahí, cuidado con eso. Okay, thank you, Astrid, thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Gladys. Number five, take my passport photo. Who wants to try? Not everybody at the same time, please. Okay, Paola Maria. Do you know where... I can get someone to take my passport photo. Correct. Do you know where I can get someone to take my passport passport photo? That is good. Thank you, Paola. Correct answer. Get someone to do something. Luis Fernando, number six, massage my neck. <clears throat> Do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? The first one. The first one. That is correct. Do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? That's right. Very good. Get someone to do something. Get someone to massage my neck. Great. Thank you, Luis. That is the right answer. Number seven. Clean my leather jacket wants to try. Do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pet while I, I wait? Uh, but we're in number seven. Ah. Uh -huh. Seven. No um, problem. Okay. Uh -huh. Note um, where I can have someone to, to claim my leather jacket. So the first one or the, the second one? The second. The second one. Okay. Do you know where I can have someone to clean my leather jacket? Okay. Uh, thank you, Rosa. According to the platform, yeah, that's the right one. But again, same mistake. Okay. Estamos ocupando el verbo have. Por lo tanto, tendría que ser clean. Have someone clean my leather jacket. Uh, yeah. Okay. I yes. have a question. Yes, Ever. In this, in this, Carlos. Uh, uh, Carlos, I'm sorry. It's just ever is uh, raising his hand. Okay. Uh, uh, in the second, in the second answer, uh, 
I don't know, but I believe that there's a, a problem with, yes. with the verb to clean. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Would be lo que estaba diciendo. Uh -huh. from base. base form. You have to use the base form, correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Es lo que estaba mencionando. Que ahí al final, eh, de nuevo, igual que en... ¿Cuál fue? Creo que fue la número cuatro. No. No me acuerdo cuál fue. Pero había una anteriormente en que se cometía el, el mismo error. Tendría que ser, do you know where I can have someone clean my leather jacket? No to clean. Porque si fuera para ocupar to clean, tendríamos que ocupar get en vez de have. Según las reglas del active causative. Ok, así que de nuevo en la plataforma, esa es la segunda, pero um, ahí hay un errorcito de dedo. Number eight, Ever de Jesús. It's the second one. The second one. Ok, yeah. do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets while I'm away? Yeah, again in the platform, that's the one. But again, the same problem. Ok. El mismo problema otra vez. Tendría que ser have someone take care of my pets while I'm away. Si queremos decir to take, habríamos que, tendríamos que ocupar get. Do you know where I can get someone to take care of my pets while I'm away? Así que en definitiva, en realidad, en la 7 y en la 8 y en una anterior, no me acuerdo qué número era, ninguna de las, tendría que haber opción C, ninguna de las anteriores, porque en realidad están malas. Pero bueno. Está bien que lo veamos así porque eh, así vamos aprendiendo también. Y bueno, también es parte de mi trabajo. En caso de que surja alguna equivocación en la plataforma, también informarles al respecto y así pues eh, no vayamos a caer en el mal uso, ¿verdad? De las, de las estructuras. Ok, good. We don't have much time. So I guess we just have one more exercise should we do this or not because it's 8 59 okay uh i guess i guess we're gonna have to leave it for tomorrow because it's there isn't enough time tomorrow we will finish this unit by the way remember no class on friday this time okay we we'll finish tomorrow the unit and then we will see each other back on monday so i'm going to call the attendance once again uh let me find it. Okay, attendance control. So there are just two people that uh, haven't responded. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Are you Present. here? Yeah. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. You, teacher. Thank you. Okay, full house today. Everybody is here. Okay, um, just a friendly reminder, everybody. Please work on the platform. Okay, let's work on the platform. Don't let it accumulate because then it's difficult to complete. Um, and also, what was the other one? What was the other one? Uh, yeah, everybody try to attend all classes. Okay, remember, try to attend all classes because that's necessary. Um, your participation in the sessions is necessary for you to, you know, get to the next level. So please. Try to be here as soon as possible and, and uh, so that your uh, attendance is registered. And also, once again, remember, no class on Friday this week, okay? Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow we have the last class of this week, okay? And then we will start the last unit on Monday. And also we have to cover that part because at the end of that unit, we have the final test. And that's something we have to work on here in class as well. Okay, so please work on the platform. Okay. I believe that's going to be all for today. So everybody, thank you once again for your participation, for your attendance, for your patience. Also, I know that it is difficult to be here at 8 p.m. and everybody's tired. I am tired too, okay? But um, I understand you, okay? So thank you for your perseverance and your energy. So you. <laughs> I'll see thank you tomorrow. You. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.